Hi everyone, welcome to Joe's Learning Hub, a one-stop channel for teacher trainees. In today's lecture, you will be listening to the principles of language teaching. So let's get started. What do you understand by the term principle? It is a basic or general rule, law or idea. So you shall be learning about the basic rules for language teaching. Let me share with you the general principles of language teaching in today's lecture. First principle is place speech before writing. Teach listening and speaking and then move on to reading and writing. This is where you should serve as a good role model to your students. Work on your diction, stress, intonation, rhythm, above all, pronunciation to be a good role model to your students. So, remember to place speech before writing. The second principle is work on basic sentences. As told in the previous video lecture, teach basic sentences so that the students will understand, respond and speak in the basic simple sentences. The third principle is establish patterns as habits. It is important for you as a teacher to help the students to master the sounds and structures of the language. The patterns should become as habits through pattern practice in English classroom. You should remember the value of repetition at proper intervals of time for the reinforcement of items and their permanent retention by the students. As time passes by, students tend to forget things. Hence, it is important to brush up their knowledge every now and then. So, establish patterns as habits. The fourth principle is use phonics. As English teachers, you must teach the sound system by imitation and practice. So, the students must learn the sound system by repeating and also by practicing it in the English classroom. The next principle is vocabulary control. You should keep in mind that the students should not be loaded with more vocabulary at the beginning level. Keep the vocabulary load to minimum. So, have vocabulary control in English classroom. Teach one or two vocabularies in the classroom. Minimize the use of mother tongue. Students should be exposed to the English language for maximum amount of time in the English classroom and the use of mother tongue by both teachers and students should be minimized. Mother tongue can be used only when it is absolutely essential. So, this is the sixth principle of language teaching. Let's move on to the next principle. Teach in graded patterns. English must be taught gradually in graded steps. Proceed from simple to difficult and from more useful to less useful. Proper selection and gradation of vocabulary and structures should be made. The principles for selection and gradation of language items like frequency, usefulness, range, productivity, simplicity and teachability shall be dealt with in another video lecture. So, teach in graded patterns. The next principle is use oral approach. Language is primarily speech and written symbols are only secondary. So, while teaching English language, listening and speaking comes first, reading and writing next. If the student has command over the spoken word, it facilitates reading and writing. It is your job as a teacher to make the students speak English in the classroom. The next principle is practice. Practice alone enables the student to acquire the habit of speaking the language. It increases the amount of learning. Hence, the students must be engaged in practice most of the time. Give ample time in the classroom to practice what is being taught. The next principle is use situational approach. Remember that English should be taught in situations because mother tongue is learned that way. Use the same approach to teach English also. Items of vocabulary structures should be taught in appropriate situations. 
As an English teacher, you should show various objects either by presenting them actually before the class or by bringing pictures or by drawing on the blackboard. You should also be conscious of the surroundings and class environment because you should make full use of it. Hence, use situational approach. The next principle to teach English language is immediate reinforcement. Since English is taught as a second language, the students should be told immediately the correctness or the incorrectness of their responses. So, reinforce the students then and there. If they speak correctly or write correctly, appreciate them. If they speak wrongly or write wrongly, correct them in a proper manner. The next principle is natural order of learning. The natural order of learning a language is listening, speaking, reading and writing, LSRW. This is how mother tongue is also learned. Same should be followed in teaching English language also. Give due weightage to all aspects of language. No skill should be neglected or overemphasized. Keep in mind to pay proportionate attention to all language skills. Hence. These are all the principles of teaching English language. So, my dear students, when you teach English, don't forget these principles. Also, make language teaching more interesting by teaching in a lively and purposeful manner. Variety is needed in an English classroom to hold the attention of all students. Students should feel the pleasure from their study rather than feel bored. The students should not fear the English teacher. Instead, they should be at ease in the English classroom. Always give a sense of achievement to your students. Do you remember the teaching maxim, learning by doing? This serves good even for English class. Therefore, make English teaching learning a pleasure and not a pressure. Until we meet again, thank you.